What's up guys, it's Cameron, and today I want to talk about some new super cool updates from FBM Fox. So before you like X out or whatever the hell you want to call getting out of the video is, um, stick around because one of the cool new updates, you don't even have to be an FBM Fox subscription or member or whatever, you don't have to pay for FBM Fox to use it. So yeah, and it's pretty cool. So anyway, I just said so like three times. Let's get into it. Before we do though, like the video as always, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll keep you up to date with the stuff that I learn and decide to talk about on camera. So listen up, fellas and lady fellas. We're gonna get into it. First things first, the the small little update, which is kind of big for some people. FVM Fox is now, we're gonna jump into my computer by the way, in this extension. Now on your settings, on the on the actual extension tab or whatever the hell, sync items now is available. So beforehand, you were you were gonna have to wait. Like let's say you just got FBM Fox, or even if you just used it regularly, but you were like, oh man, I wish my items would sync. You'd have to like wait for this, or like drop it down to an hour or like thirty minutes, and it was like, uh, it's still you know it's a cool feature, but it still would like you'd have to wait around for it. You couldn't get things moving right then. Now. You can just hit sync items now and it will just do it right then. And that way you can get started instead of having to wait. So pretty awesome new feature, much needed. But other than that, not much to talk about with that. So here we go. And if there is more to talk about that, I'll talk about it in another video because uh, it's new and I haven't really used it yet. I just, no, that's not true. I did use it. I did use it and, and it works. I just, you know. It does exactly what the hell, it, what do you want to say about it? It does what it, it says, it syncs the damn items, okay? Okay, moving on. Product research, right? So, beforehand we've talked about how FBM Fox does product research with eBay. Well now, they finally have it for Amazon. And I'm gonna show you how the hell I use it because it's pretty also damn cool. So, let's go in. I'm in Amazon right now, let's get rid of this. Okay. I'm gonna just search something and we're gonna do what I like to call a freestyle version of searching for stuff with FBM Fox product research, I guess. So, um, uh, wheelbarrow, Let's, how do you spell wheelbarrow? Wheel, is it barrow or barrel? Wheelbarrow? What the hell's the difference? Wheelbarrow. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, um, I forgot that, yeah, wheelbarrow was what I was gonna talk about. But either way, let's check this out. See, you gotta wait for these save to FBM Fox buttons to load. And then you can go in to your research tool on your extension and you can choose your max number of competitors, minimum of sales, minimum revenues, which we don't really mess with too much, but you can if you want to fine tune things, and maximum seller rank. Um, now the creator of the, the tool says, you know, you, you don't want to go below that because the actual seller rank, if you think about it, the closer you get to number one is better. So the further you get from the number one is worse. So it's not like a high number is good, but we're just going to keep it at 20, 250,000, I think is what that is. Anyway, max competitors, let's say I don't want more than like 15 competitors and minimum number of sales. I want this thing to have like, I don't know. I want it to have like 20 sales. Let's see if something happens. I haven't done this one yet. And we're just gonna hit search. And you see these little blue lines are gonna go. It's gonna do its thing. And uh, if anything meets our criteria, which chances are, there's a pretty not crazy criteria. There possible chance that there's gonna be a good amount of green that pops up. So yeah. Um, because I like to run a pass and then see like, okay, what is the average, you know, competitors. So like this one right here, it's got two competitors. It does almost a hundred grand a month. It does a thousand sales a month. That sounds crazy to me. I mean, that just sounds insane. This, this thing literally does almost $700,000 a month. And, but that's spread across 14 people who sell it and it does that much a month. So that's insane. I mean, that's crazy. Anyway, 
what you can do is you're gonna like, okay, well, if there's that many competitors, let me, you can knock it down to two and then be like, okay, look, this thing only has two competitors. And then you can go find, like you can click on this one and then search it somewhere else if you wanted to, to see if it's actually cheaper from another person. Like maybe these people are drop shipping it on Amazon from a cheaper source. Um, so keeping on the theme of the wheelbarrow, um, I looked up, this is just like Home Depot's like one of their better selling wheelbarrows, I guess says bestseller. We're going to copy paste this guy right here, just the title. Cause look, it's $109 and I'm going to search it on Amazon to see, you know, if people are selling it on Amazon and you don't have to do it this way. I just like copying the title cause I think it's the easiest part, but, uh, okay. Yeah. Look, and look, this one doesn't even have numbers on it, right? Like this just has just the name. It doesn't even have like a price. So we're going to click on this and um, look at these up here. 266, 264, 172. This thing is $109 on Home Depot. What? Insane. Okay. Now you will, if you look closely, these are, these are different. Like these two are the same. It looks like maybe this one's a little different. See the, it's a different model number, but all together, this has got different handles and stuff. We're looking for this yellow with the, with the black handle, but that's what we have here. So these are like, you know, alternatives, like it says, consider these alternatives. Anyway, new three from, look at these, man. <laughs> look at these scummy drop shipping bastards. All right. These, uh, we got 109 bucks and literally these are all going for way more than double that. So for those of you who are like 50% is too high, what's going on with these people right here? I mean, they're drop shipping. And if they found a wholesaler to drop ship from, that's whatever's anyway, outside of the point. But I really like this. Uh, let's just, let's not worry about this. Cause I don't know if this is like an actual store. It's probably not this, you know, this looks like a drop shipper to me. I mean, this one's got like 54,000 ratings um, on this store. This person's got two ratings and they're a drop shipper. So I just want to, I just want to see what else they've got to offer on their, on their storefront because they're drop shipping this thing and they have the cheapest price. So they actually have the highest likelihood of somebody buying this and the bed, one of the better shipping dates out of the two. So already I like this wheelbarrow and I'd love to list it on Facebook, but I know a lot of you guys are going to, so I'm not even gonna bother. <laughs> but let's click this person's store because see how we can use this tool to not just research one single product on a page, which is super cool. You can just search whatever the hell you want and then do the research button and then see like, okay, well this sells a lot, I'll just list this. But you can fine tune it and dig a little deeper with it, which is kind of the more effort you put in, the better you're not gonna be like, well, I got 12 items listed and I got no views. It's like, well, you probably did the same amount of work thousands of other people did. So let's look at this person's storefront. And okay, they got pants, this little cool game here. Um, yeah, there's our wheelbarrow. Okay, let's, uh, now that we're in here, we can do the research again, but I'm gonna fine tune it. So I'm gonna do like four competitors and I want a max or a minimum of six sales. Yeah, because I mean, for, for a lot of us, you know, if you did a hundred sales a month on a big item, that'd be cool. But at the same time, that'd be overwhelming if you're not using VAs to fulfill orders, which I still don't even do. Anyway, I'm not, I don't really care about the revenue of the seller rank right now. I'm just gonna hit research, see what happens. And you do have to wait for these save to FBM Fox buttons to pop up by the way. So. I do it all the time. I accidentally go in there. I'm all like trigger happy and I go and hit that button and then uh, it's not ready for me to do it yet. So you just got to wait until the extension pings and everything. Anyway, scroll up and see how these don't meet the criteria. So they're not lit up green, but it gives me a lot of valuable information. So I can still list to stuff from this information because just because it's got 14 competitors on Amazon doesn't mean it's got a bunch of competitors on Facebook. We're just using this information to give us information. So um, to make educated decisions on. So this thing's green. It meets my stuff. It's a, uh, a, a boom box. What? Who the hell's buying boom boxes? Oh, it's got an LCD screen. It's a DVD boom box. There's like a screen on it and it supports like SD cards and USBs and stuff. That's actually kind of cool. I would never buy that, but I, and I don't know anybody who would buy that, but maybe you would. It's got four competitors. It makes 15 sales a month. I mean, I'm going to save that to my FBM Fox account. 
Like, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. That's a, I'm going to, I'm going to list that thing. Okay. Ooh, a wheelbarrow. I still don't even know if I'm saying that right. Anyway, the wheelbarrow, uh, wheelbarrow. Yes. It meets the criteria, of course. Um, because it kind of, that's why I did the criteria, but this is another way to fine tune. Like, you know, we, this might be a good product to list. Now I'm not going to list it from Amazon. I'm going to go back to Home Depot and save it from here. And boom, it's like saving all the information because now I can go in to my, my lister tool, right? Go to, go to Facebook and I'm not going to list it. I'm just going to show you like just how easy it is because now six cubic foot wheelbarrow, I can put my 50% template on there and list it. I'm good to go. I'm so good to go. All right. See that? Ooh, and the picture doesn't suck. That's, that's rare. Half the time the picture zoomed in, you know, this, that means, uh, they've actually got good, a good like cover photo. So, I mean, other than that, you can come in here like that's 50% is 164 over 109. I mean, these people are selling it for almost $300. So I'm minimum gonna go in and make this thing like 200 bucks. Actually, let's make it two, let's make it like 210. Whatever, that's still way cheap. You could probably sell it for the same exact price that Amazon's selling it for if you really wanted to. Um, or you could do it for this and put like 40 bucks shipping on it or $20 shipping anyway. I said I wasn't gonna list it, but hell dude, let's just list it. Let's just list it. I'm not even gonna do much to it. I'm just gonna list the hell out of it. So you, I'm not even gonna change any of this stuff, even though you should. My new, my second account has like variant options now, which is super cool. It's like, yeah, wheelbarrow. And for the other people, wheelbarrow. <laughs> cool, hide from friends, next. Shipping only, don't forget. I'm gonna do zero dollar shipping, see what's up. I'll probably take this down like tomorrow, but I'm just, I'm listing it for the sake. So you guys can see from like start to finish, boom, we got something listed. So, and then you're gonna see whatever else I got listed, which isn't gonna be that big of a deal. But, all right, wheelbarrow listed for 210. By the way, none of this stuff has sold. <laughs> Not good listings right here, don't list these. They're experiments. Anyway, how cool is that? That's product research for the most part. And you can do that across, like if you come up across a good product, cross-reference those prices with other sellers because chances are this person's drop shipping from somewhere else. Um, but you also might magically come across the thing that someone's drop shipping from. So uh, I love that it's on Amazon now, especially because I pretty much only use Amazon. But let's move on to the the last new update with FBM Fox, which is damn awesome. All right. Oh, I X'd out of that boom box, damn it. Okay. FBM Fox now has tracking numbers just like OA Genius and just recently Z Drop got them. So now just a heads up, what they're doing is uh, like FBM Fox and the rest of them. It, what it looks like is it looks like they're just incorporating OA Genius into their platform. So uh, like if you're used to OA Genius, just know that it's gonna be the same exact thing on, on FBM Fox. Um, right now FBM Fox does where and you don't have to pay for FBM Fox monthly to use this feature. You can just come in here and buy tracking numbers if you want. And they're the cheapest so far out of the three people that I know do this thing. I'm sure other people do it, but I just, I only pay attention to these three because that's all I care about. But they also have a minimum of five. Like you only have to buy $5 worth, not five tracking numbers. You get 25 tracking numbers for five bucks. Yep. So that makes them, and it says right here, 20 cents per tracking number. So super cool, you can just come in here, it will save your tracking numbers, and um, yeah, it, it's literally the same exact thing. So I'm really quick, I'm gonna pay for some tracking numbers and, and then cut to that and I'll show you. Okay, wow, that was actually really easy. <laughs> so um, all I had to do is fill out my name, I just put my first and last name and then my card info right here, and then hit purchase, it took like, four seconds. Um, I was kind of sitting there for four seconds and then it just boom, kicked me over here. It said tracking numbers purchased successfully. So, all right, let's, uh, let's, let's do some tracking numbers. Let's, these are some random cities from places I've shipped recently. Let's do like Greenville, Ohio. I'm not gonna actually going to use this, unfortunately. Um, actually let me look at my email and see if I got a tracking number that I need a TBA tracking number for one second. I don't, I don't have one right now. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do this. 
Estimated delivery range, I'm just gonna say that I want it for Thursday. Just gonna double click that and hit apply. Earlier, um, when I was kind of messing with this, I forgot to hit apply, so I was like, what's going on? Hit the green, the obviously blue, I almost said green, um, apply button. Boom, you're good to go. And same thing as the new OA Genius updates that just came out. You can select it as uh, whatever the earliest ship date is that you like possible. You can select a shipment origin. So if you want it to come from a certain city, um, that's totally cool. You can totally do that. And then you can also verify that the tracking number hasn't been used for a Walmart Marketplace order yet. Um, I don't really have an issue with that, but apparently that's enough of a thing where people really need that. So it just checks it across to make sure that somebody has not used it for Walmart tracking. So. Boom, get tracking number. And I've got 25, it says right here how many I've got left. I'm, I'll be charge you one tracking number, which is just, I have credits for 25. And give it a second, because it, remember, it's running through another thing to get this tracking number. Okay, result, I love this, that it highlights this stuff, it gives me all the information. And let's see, does this button take me to the tracking? Ooh, sweet. So you can come here, copy it from here, or you can just copy it from here. Um, copy link address. Does that let us do cool stuff? So technically you could do that and then control A and then copy there. Or you can just like highlight it if you want. But I kind of like the idea of just going here and copying it. But there, and it'll save it here. And you should be good. Yeah, all the information. That's the tracking number. Anyway, 20 cents for FBM Fox. If you go to Z Drop, they do $12 for 50 credits. Um, so they have a minimum of 12 that you get, $12 worth, sorry. Um, and that makes out to 24 cents per tracking number. When it first came out, it was like 30 cents a tracking number or something. I was like, whoa, it's actually more. But now they actually take a, a cent loss on, on Z Drop. Um, so that's four cents more than FBM Fox. And then OA Genius, theirs is $25 minimum for 100 credits and that comes out to 25 cents a tracking number so fb and fox has got the cheapest tracking numbers right now out of those three platforms that we a lot of us use so and you don't even have to pay for fb and fox to use it it's just come as you need it and you only have to buy five dollars worth you don't have to buy 10 or 25 or 12 dollars worth or whatever so that's pretty much the updates guys and ladies and everyone else um yeah that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you out. I hope this gives you kind of an understanding of what the new FBM Fox updates are, and you can utilize the tracking number stuff. And that's it. I just said that like four times. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, subscribe, duh, and I'll see you next time.